Okay. Sitting on the floor, surrounded by pieces of a commissioned art project, Cal Barteski calls this her zen time. I love it. With her favorite brush in hand, the Winnipeg artist happily loses herself in her brush script paintings, a style of art that has become one of her trademarks. I hop back and forth through all of this stuff, hoping not to wreck anything. It doesn't always work out that way. But in reality, she's been losing herself in art since she started painting at age eight. And not for one single second since then has she thought of doing anything else. I always have black wash with me, and I always have a paintbrush with me, but... <laughs> this art is all I've ever done, and it's really how I express myself. Even if I didn't have words, if I could still have art, I'd be okay, I feel. So it's sort of everything. It's just, it's a way. There's a quote that said, art is not a thing, it's just a way, and it's my way, and it's, you know how I get along. I need to move some of these now. Born and raised in Saskatoon, Barteski moved to Winnipeg in 1996. She's almost totally self-taught. The only post-secondary schooling she ever took was graphic design at Red River College. We need to just put in the time. Barteski is a multifaceted artist with works that include everything from photorealistic wildlife paintings to abstract art and now a lot of typography. But she admits getting heavily into word art actually happened by accident when she scribbled this phrase on the back of a napkin at Stella's restaurant and uploaded the image to her blog. Without me knowing, it started getting lifted and reposted, and after a couple million reposts, it was being sold and used all over the world without my knowledge or consent. And when I figured this out, it was, it was a shock, but I guess at the end of the day, people must like it if they're willing to steal it. So I started focusing on doing some of that and kind of perfecting my craft, and, uh, and I love that too. It's, it's, it's an awesome way to earn a living. Since then, her script work has been used all over the world. The Estrella Dam Beer Company in Barcelona uses it in their advertising all over Europe, and Vita Coco Coconut Water had her do script for an ad campaign featuring celebrities Rihanna and Kelly Slater. I'm channeling my inner Kelly Slater today. But the script work isn't all she does, and it certainly is not her only love. Maybe if I pour all of this paint, it will inspire me to finish this painting today. Barteski paints polar bears. Right now, she's in the middle of preparing for a huge art show featuring her many bear paintings. She fell in love with the giant white creatures when she first saw Debbie, the world's oldest polar bear who lived at Assiniboine Park Zoo until she passed away in 2008 at age 42. Their hair is hollow and sort of translucent. So they're not really white, they're just a reflection of everything around them. There are so few artists in the world focusing on polar bears the way Barteski does that a Google search led Animal Planet and Discovery Channel to contact her to be part of a documentary on polar bears. They took me to Churchill and we got to chase after some polar bears and see them in their own habitat, which was probably one of the highlights of my life. It's an enormous honor and a true privilege to be considered a polar bear artist. I don't know if we can save the polar bears, but I know if you're listening, they can save us. Another highlight of Barteski's life was her recent TEDx talk in Winnipeg. Her speech about her art and her love of polar bears, plus the recent rheumatoid arthritis diagnosis that could have sidelined her career, was all met with rave reviews. I'm still trapped. And I was upset. And people said, ah, find a new passion. Like, passion's transferable. But Barteski chooses not to focus much on the negative or the past. As one of her most popular brush script pieces suggests, she follows her heart forward, putting a measure of positivity into every brush stroke she makes. I kind of have this tiny big belief that what you put out into the universe you get back, so I'm trying to put out good, and, and so far so good. <laughs> to learn more about Cal Barteski and her artwork, visit her website at calbarteski.com. For Shaw TV's Go Winnipeg, I'm Kim Babbage.